Jerry Lane Enterprises and Courtesy Motors present Paradise, Louisiana. With Gary Rasponi and Don DeBute. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Finney's Car Wash and Oil Change, Cracker Barrel Convenience Stores. We have more than you expect. Always fresh, never frozen, Raising Canes. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. Dimco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Pro Drive Outboards. H&E Equipment Services, an equipment company run by equipment people. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Louisiana and Rouse's Markets. You're either local or you're not. Welcome to Paradise, Louisiana, and guess where we are today? Rouse's and Homer, one of the four stores in Homer, is with me, Mr. Tim Acosta. Tim. How you doing, Mr. Gary? The marketing manager. I can't think of nothing better. You're going to tempt me. You know, I <laughs> represent them so he yeah. done put He done put three or four pounds of crawfish in front of me. You know, and look, I, I suck the head, <laughs> and then my hand's going to get all dirty, so I ain't going to shake your hand again. No, that's fine, but that's Tim, fine. Tell us about what the specials you got going on at this oh, end we of the month, well, the is here. This is a great time of the year. The springtime is always wonderful. Uh, uh, we're obviously right in the middle of crawfish season right now, so uh, it always builds up, starts, you know, February, they really start coming in once the weather starts warming up, and then all the way to Easter, and then all the way into April and May, we're going to have some good crawfish. So we expect a good crop of crawfish this year. So um, well, it's going to fit in pretty good right now, and they're good size of these Yeah, crawfish. they're starting to get nice, and they just I'm, are getting better. I'm going to quit eating right now because because you know when we go to Rouse's, we always eat after the show, and we eat red beans and rice again all today, right, we'll or take whatever care of you want. Mm -hmm. You got sandwiches, they got food, they got salads, they got Chinese. Anything you can think of, they got it at Rouse stores. And like I said, this is one of four. Well, this yes, sir. We, we have uh, four stores right here in Homa. This is the Superstore. It's one of our older stores uh, in Homa, uh, right across from the mall, um, right here in Homa. Uh, but glad to have you all here, you know, so. Well, we brought a few people with us today. So this is the show's going to be about, you talking about fishing. I found out you, you're a big Sacolay fisherman. Yeah. We got two of the better Sacolay fishermen and the bait producers coming here. We got yeah. Clyde Foss and his wife Good. with Crappie Psychic. I got Glenn Pressenbach and his wife. She's here, Judy and their grandbaby, mm -hmm. and they coming by and brought me some jigs that we'll show you them in the fish Good. report. Yep. Uh, we're going to do our first segment. Don fished with the Crappie Psychic Master okay. this past week. Mm -hmm. and, they uh, caught some fish. That's gonna be it. Yeah, Don, by the way, is on location right now. Real no pen rays. He's hunting quail now. I'm pretty sure oh, that's in right. Texas. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, last week he was hunting another conservation hunt in Arkansas. Uh, we miss Don, especially me, because he usually takes care of all the right. introduction mm -hmm. stuff. But no, and he's no real problem. good. And to top it off, we got Trinity Outdoors founder and president, Mr. Jason Bland, with us this week, and uh, he's gonna give us a wrap up of his hunting season with with good. the physical challenge and mentally challenging people he was with this year. He got some outstanding video coming from Tennessee and Texas. So mm, good, that's great. Y'all stay tuned. That's You're great. watching Paradise, Louisiana, and Tim. All right, Gary. Go, <laughs> let's go eat some more. We're let's go, go get fishing. you some. Look, yeah. you probably we gotta go fishing. We're gonna go to Lake your Buff. Buff. We'll go to Lake Buff. Lake, Lake Buff. Buff's right in my backyard. I'm so. a, yeah. And I'm gonna get you. Know, I'm gonna get the crappy sack. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll get some uh, crappy sack advice. He's right. he, he, he getting a lot of stuff off us. We'll go. Oh yeah. He got some good product for you too. All right, thank you. Y'all stay tuned. We got that in the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. Coming up, Rouse's here in Homer, the Superstore. At Rouse's, we love food as much as you do. That's why it's no surprise our chefs aren't the only cooks who work here. Rouse's butchers know how to select, trim, and cook every cut we sell. Of course, our produce experts are the very best in the field. And on the field, and you can always count on our seafood department for the best catch. Heads up, Brandon. The best quality and the best price is why the best chefs and cooks shop and work at Rouse's. It's truck month at Courtesy Ford, and with our new expanded lot, it's our biggest truck month ever. 
Right now, get $12,000 off every 2016 Ford Super Duty diesel in stock. The 2016 Super Duty delivers best in-class power and fuel economy, and you can get $12,000 off MSRP on over 100 in stock. Browse the largest selection of Ford trucks in the state at Acadiana's number one selling F-Series dealer for three years straight, courtesy Ford off I-10 behind Walmart and Bro Bridge. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Who doesn't want to save money on fuel? Now, Shell and the Fuel Rewards Network are putting you in control of how much you pay for fuel. Simply buy whatever's on your shopping list. Clothes, groceries, even dinner out. And earn cents per gallon savings at participating retailers nationwide. Now, fuel prices are in your hands. So why wait? Sign up at FuelRewards.com today and turn shopping power into saving power. Visit Cracker Barrel convenience stores before heading fishing or hunting. We have more than you expect. I'm Todd Graves, founder of Raising Cane's. You're probably familiar with our fresh, never frozen chicken fingers, crinkle cut fries, and buttery Texas toast. But the best things we serve are not on our menu. They're the people in the communities we call home. We make it a priority to give back. And while we may be known for our fingers, we're all about lending a hand. So next time you stop by, just remember that my canes is your canes. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. One love. <laughs> Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Here we are, Caleb, Clyde, and Janelle folks. Crappy psychic people, and then you see the color. Now, here you got a new trailer, too, wrapped trailer and ready to go. Yes, I do. All the boat shows and everything else. But oh, you're talking, about, you're talking about the uh, trailer outside. This is my new mega trailer that we're uh, just making right now. Oh, yeah. I Me. see how you got confused. That's the trailer. Right. Trailer's like that crappy psychic right. that we got here. And then you made a trip with Don Dubuque this past week, and uh, I know y'all been working on it, and you told him, come on. It might be tough, but I bless him. Tell me what happened. Tell us about your trip. Well, we got out there bright and early in the morning at Lake Buff. We went straight to the lake. Uh, it was blue sky, high pressure system, and I was kind of worried about that. Uh, but we went out there and uh, got in the grass beds, and uh, Don picked up a few really nice soccer right away, early. As the sun came up with that high pressure, it, it got tougher and tougher, and uh, most fishermen we talked to that day struggled, and we moved into the canals, and uh, we were fishing with this uh, black and white tube jig with the uh, chartreuse uh, trailer same on there. Same one with same one, Chris yeah, Chris and Same I. one you and I fished, and uh, we, we did pretty well. I mean, it was slow, but uh, we ended up with close to 20 really nice uh, soccer Here we are in action, Don Dubuque, Mr. Clyde, folks. All right, first cast and a nice, crappy Sakale white perch. A lot of names for them and a lot of ways to fish them. Today, we're fishing them crappy psychic style. Well, Don, I like to start out with an extremely flat jig head, and then I add a crappy ringer tube jig to it, black and white being my favorite color, and then I put on my crappy trailer that I developed uh, about four years ago, brought on the market a year and a half ago. And then I tipped that with a little piece of Berkeley Gulp. I, they're called maggots. And they're, everything is scented with my psychic sauce. It's a decent one here. Mm -hmm. I always use it under a cork. That's what I prefer. I'm more of a sight fisherman. I like seeing the cork, but you can use it on a spinner. I have friends that use it just the tube jig itself. No spinner, no cork, and fish it tight lining. Uh, you can troll with it. I mean, there's a lot of different techniques you can use. I always use it with a cork because that's my favorite way of fishing. Right into the living room. The Lake Buff area, I start in November and go through the end of March. And then after that, I move to the Bay Black area back of Homa. I'm sure you're familiar with that area. And I catch them in July, August, you know, in hottest days of the summer, I catch them. What I like to look for is grass, like we did this morning. And there's certain types of grass that for some reason, Sockley like to hang out at. There's a grass here in Lake Buff, we call it alligator grass. It's real tough, you saw it this morning. 
and uh, the Sockley really love hanging around there. I think it holds a lot of bait fish. I think it holds a lot of uh, small crawfish and grass shrimp. So that type of grass must hold a lot of bait, and that's why the Sockley are attracted to it. So that's what I look for. And of course, in, in the lake itself, you got to look for some water because you you saw how much grass is in there. So you need to find a spot where there's a little bit of water where you can fish. In the canals, depending on what time of year it is, you can fish right up against the bank. They're getting ready to spawn right now. They're, a lot of them are starting to, but they'll spawn to the end of March. So you might fish six to eight inches deep and try to get up as close to the bank as you can, and you'll pull some mules out of there. So they're starting to get up into the, into the bank right now. But Favorite Sakale recipe? That would have to be my wife's Sakale boulettes. And uh, hopefully one day you get to sample those. He ain't fighting like a soccer eh? no, He is, though. All right, another nice soccer eh? Gonna be some good frying up tonight. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change has been keeping cars and trucks in Baton Rouge clean and running smooth for over 50 years. At Benny's, we feature professional car washing, complete detailing, high-tech waxing and buffing, interior cleaning, and tire shine. Benny's, one stop for car maintenance with complete oil and lube services and even state inspections at our express locations. Visit one of our five convenient locations, including our newest store on Greenwell Springs Road. And don't forget to stop by Be Quick Convenience Store and Fuel Stop. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Drive in dirty, drive out clean. You must have paradise, Louisiana. You can count on Jerry Lane. At Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. Jerry Lane. You know what? It's tradition, it's family, and that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. Get the lane, get the lane. Get the lane, get the lane. Get the lane. Get the lane. We're a Jerry Lane family. Always be to. It takes true grit to wake up every morning dedicated to a higher standard of work. At H&E Equipment Services, we're leveraging our national fleet of equipment with a local approach, working closely with customers to understand their needs and provide them reliability, fair prices, and the support of a first-class service team. We're an equipment company run by equipment people. Where others stop, we continue. H&E Equipment Services, the higher standard in equipment rentals, sales, parts, and service. Welcome back to Rouse's here in Homer. Welcome back. Paradise, Louisiana. Donnie Rouse, I want to introduce everybody in the state and the Gulf Coast to the president this year of the Grand Altarpin Rodeo. Last year I saw you out there busy. You was the admiral and doing what you had to do. And Donnie, you know, the Grand Isle, Big Daddy, the whole United States, the longest, the oldest running saltwater rodeo in the country. That's right. Probably in the world. Probably so. Donnie, what does it mean to you to be president of the biggest rodeo? And you've been there every year coming That's up. Right. What does it mean I've, to you? Uh, we've, you know, Rouse's has been a part of that uh, rodeo for as, as long as I can remember. We've always been a sponsor, always participating in it. I, I've gone just about every year since I was growing up. Um, just remember just the times being at the camp and all the people on the island. Uh, it's super exciting. Uh, I'm an avid fisherman. I'm always on the water uh, when it's not hunting season. So, uh, you know, to be the president of the rodeo is, is, is really a great honor, um, you know, to, to be there. And Well, whether, whether or not you've seen it, we cover radio, Paradise We Down cover right. radio every year. That's the big daddy of them all. One of the most exciting times of the summer is some summertime Mardi Gras down there. That's right. Uh, it's hard to cover everything that's going on, you know. We try to take pictures, we try to get on a boat one day, it's three days of just nothing but excitement. Y'all in the planning stages right now, y'all probably start early, I know, even though it's four months away. That's right. Tell me, tell me some of the things y'all planning right now, it might be different. So, I uh, started a few months ago uh, with, with the poster. Uh, the poster of the, of the rodeo is a, a huge deal, so I started, um, you know, talking to different artists and selecting my artists and then kind of going with the theme for what the poster is going to be for this year. And then we just started talking a little bit about 
um, about food, some different food vendors, what I was interested in, in trying to see uh, better at the rodeo, um, what different uh, bands that we can bring this year, and, and just 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 little That's ways how we can in, make things. I like uh, the dance. I, I, how that we can improve. Last night. Uh -huh. During the day, it's just amazing to see the people. We got video. You you won't believe of the mayor and them cutting up, and there was a mayor and them over there doing it. It, it blues boys and it, it's just it's just so much fun it's got something for everybody Absolutely. it got some people some things are a little risque gonna we'll keep your kids away but it is really a family atmosphere and you sponsor not only do you sponsor that for years y'all been sponsoring but this year y'all big sponsor cca right second our second year we're a large sponsor with that group and uh they're they're, they're a really great group uh, they do a lot for the, uh, the hunting, fishing, and, and the coastal wetlands of uh, the northern Gulf of Mexico, and it's something that I'm proud to be a sponsor of, and will continue being so. I think they're a great organization. I want to talk a little bit more about your heritage, your hunting and fishing heritage. Who was the biggest influence on you coming up? Uh, uh, it'd have been uh, my dad and my grandfather. Uh, my dad wasn't much of a fisherman; he still doesn't like to fish much, but he's a big hunter. And my grandfather really introduced me to, to the fishing. Duck hunting, deer hunting, or both? Uh, both and uh, you know right now wrapping up squirrel season so what, what about <laughs> the duck season you know the, well how was your duck season I've talked to people had mixed man how was your was duck season? worst ever huh? worst ever for me where do you hunt I hunt here in uh, Orange Grove so next to Bay okay. Black and it was uh, for me it was worst duck season ever yeah, come back and had a good year thank you well I want to thank you and, and, and Rouse for bringing us on yeah you know, at the end of the last year and the first of this year and I can't tell you how much it means to us and I can tell all of y'all, when you go out, it's not too many places if you're going hunting and fishing, you ain't going to pass the rouses. And they got anything you want to bring to the camp or do this. And if you just want to have something Louisiana style, crawfish, shrimp, fish, food, boudin. We, we got know it. what I, no, you know, both of us Italian heritage. Right. All right. right. Now, when I, I went at Denham Spring store, and it was the closest one to me, and I went to this special meat market. They had so many different meats and special items from Italy. So, you know, I sort of go there and get olives and, and, and different salamis and different spiced meat, which I ain't supposed to eat. And see this here? That French bread? You know, Italians cook that French bread too, but French bread is, a, is really a mainstay in Louisiana. And with my diabetes, I ain't supposed to eat it. I was talking to my good friend Jason Bland a while ago and said, that French bread right here, we have some coffee au huh? Mm -hmm. In right. Italian, we call it pan latte. I probably could eat that. Him and I both were going to eat that bread. Absolutely. But, but y'all tempting with crawfish. Crawfish, that's right. Got to you first. Red beans and rice when we leave. <laughs> Donnie, God bless you. Thank yes, you. Sir, thank you. Anything we can do at Paradise, Louisiana, we love covering the rodeo. If anything you need, let me know. Keep giving me a chance to to build you up because you do a great job in Louisiana and you are a true Louisiana tradition. Thank Your you family. very much. Thank you. Thank you. Come to the family owned and operated Cassius Casino in Port Allen today where the Vegas style video poker machines are ready for your entertainment. Cassius Casino is the finest, cleanest, classiest casino around. And Cash's 50-style diner is now serving seafood daily, along with your favorite home-cooked specials 24-7. Hey, Cash's is fun. Cash's is exciting. So come to the unsinkable Cash's Casino in Port Allen. Over the river, two miles west of exit 151. I'm watching Paradise Weezing.
Paradise, Louisiana, and one of our big passions, following the people with Trinity Outdoors. And we are on our second hunt so far this year. Uh, they've been all over the country and they've been doing some great work with the people that are physically challenged, both soldiers. And, and I picked me out one today that I'm really, really going to be excited about. I've seen her before in these hunts. But Claire, you the, you the star today. I'm going to make you the star. Claire Chasson, did I say that right? And his dad? Kirby Chasson Jr. And, I, and her brother, Brandon. Come on over here with me, boy. You won't be hiding out there. You and that big old gun, big as you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. How much? How much of this hunting do you do? A lot. You told me a while ago that deer hunting is your favorite. How much rabbit hunting have you done? This is my first time. The first time. That makes it perfect. So you ready? You got your gun. You got your bed. You're ready to go. Nothing holds you back. Nothing over the back. You watching Paradise, all. Louisiana. Trinity Outdoors, 2016. We got a lot of things coming up this year, 2016, from Trinity Outdoors. Mr. Jason Bland and all their crew. This is uh, Bayou District, Mr. Warren Coupel. Stay tuned. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Exciting day, good dogs, beautiful weather. Just cool enough to keep the dogs Really a hunt. Got the sheriff right here, Mr. Leading Falcon, newly uh, elected sheriff. Uh, we got another rabbit hunter. That's a celebrity. Got the rabbit dogs here. I guess this is your grandson? Yes, sir. That's Colt, and this must be your son? Yes, sir, Jamie. What's your... Jamie. Jamie, Jamie, thank y'all for being out here and bringing them dogs. I've been following Jason and a group of Trinity Outdoors for years. This is a big one of my favorite time of year, the rabbit hunting out here, because the kids get out in the outdoor. I didn't black crown nobody, we got beautiful weather. Sure do, thank y'all for tell, having me. Tell me about the dog. You any good? Mine are. I don't know about those. Those aren't mine. Mine's in the back of this bike. But mine will we'll do well, I'm sure. Ronald and I have run our dogs before. Well, I got we'll you do. this morning. I'm sure we, it... we in for a little excitement this morning. Uh, I believe, I believe we are. We're going to be right with you. Stay tuned. We got Jason on camera. We got Frankie on camera. I got a camera. We're bound to get some good chases anyway. I hope so. We're watching Paradise, Louisiana. And these people are waiting to go. And they're tired of hearing me talk. Okay, guys, y'all can do whatever y'all want. We go. Jeremy Landry, born and raised in Pierreport and uh, living in Thibodeau nowadays. Jake Jacob, uh, live right here in Burley St. Martin. Raymond Prejean, Pierreport, Louisiana. Bird, I'm from Belle Rose, Louisiana. Daniel Seminole, I'm from Burley St. Martin. Barrows, Louisiana. Been with Trinity Outdoors for two years now. Love it. AJ Berg, Bruley San Martin. Ian Landry from New Iberia. Kyle Gia, I'm from Pierport. I'm Steve Cavalier. I live in Baton Rouge and somewhere else. Christopher Elmore, Pierport, Louisiana. I'm Warren Coupel with uh, the Bayou Branch of Trinity Outdoors. Uh, I'm the president of this chapter. I've uh, been with Trinity now for three years. Um, this is actually our third year during our annual rabbit hunt here in Assumption Parish. Um, we want to thank everybody that came out and made this possible. Um, our sheriff-elect, Mr. Leland Falcon, uh, for coming out and bringing his dogs, uh, Mr. Ronald, Ricky Prejean. Uh, and their whole gang for bringing their dogs. Uh, we got Mr. Jeremy Landry with LA Contractors and uh, we're just glad to be out here and, and, and being obedient servants of God and um, we're blessing people, taking them out and helping them to enjoy the outdoors. Maybe some of them is their first time. Some of them they've been doing it all their lives but we get out here and 
and the disabled people and kids and, and veterans and stuff. We try to take them out and encourage them in the outdoors, um, just to keep them going and keep them uh, keep them keep their spirits up, you know. Um, and this is our passion, so this is what this is what we meant to do, you know. And uh, it sounds like we already got one on the run, so it's gonna be a beautiful day. The Lord has blessed us in so many different ways, and we we want to thank Him for making these provisions. Jason Bland, we got another one in the book. It's a beautiful day today. Beautiful weather, perfect hunting weather. We had Mr. Leland out there and Mr. Ronald with their dogs. It was just a beautiful day all together. All together. A lot of kids were shooting, the, the, the Ella, everybody. We got two things. Two things to thank you about. Number one, congratulations. There's a new sheriff in town. Y'all heard right. that over here in Assumption <laughs> Parish. Sheriff Leland. Falcon. That Falcon name goes a long way. From Donsonville and Baton Rouge, I was raised with Falcons. Remember, remember Kelly Falcon used to catch the snakes? And yes, sir. Sure That's is. Ken? That's distant. Uh, y'all had some great dogs. Between y'all and the praise y'all today, y'all had some great pack of dogs. That that low in the fields, but a great video if you knew what I, if I knew what I was doing. <laughs> so thanks to Jason and a couple of his friends, I think we got enough rabbits on camera, but we got the people. Chef, how long have you been rabbit hunting? How long are you doing? How are you going to work that in, your hunting and your outdoors with oh your shirt? God. Started rabbit hunting probably when I was about four years old. It's the only hunting I do. I enjoy my, my rabbit hunting. I enjoy running my dogs. And uh, it was a pleasure to come out with y'all today. I really enjoyed it. Well, you know, so you can do things and busy. You, you got to hire some good people so you can have some time, huh? Oh, we'll have some time. We'll make a little time, you know. And especially if y'all come back next year, we'll be happy to come back again with y'all. Yeah. Well, good Lord willing, we will be. Thank the man on the camera. Thank you for keeping me on the team. Uh, you know, a couple times we got a few short words. You know. <laughs> He's always talking and he networks good. Do a great job. Warren, compare what another great job you did. All the guys with the dog. Yeah. See, see that guy over there, Frankie? He's another one. They did a tremendous job. We're getting ready to go eat. What are we going to eat? Well, we're eating over here at Community Worship Center over here in uh, Plottenville, Louisiana. Plottenville, Louisiana. And um, what a blessing in Assumption Parish over here. And yeah, you're right about uh, Warren and the Bayou ba Branch, Steve Cavalier, Daniel Seminole, Robert Welch, the whole gang of them. Just phenomenal third annual event rabbit hunt and it's just been a blessing so i don't know what we're eating but we're going to eat jambalaya white beans jambalaya white beans you heard the man say jambalaya white beans that sounds good to me all right yeah i'm ready to put this when camera down go eat spaghetti from it that's all well, rabbit spaghetti is the best spaghetti in the world yeah you're right that's, that's right. what we need to do y'all stay tuned for more paradise louisiana y'all stay tuned more jason because we're going to do a recap of all this hunting adventures coming up pretty soon on paradise louisiana Thank you again, sir. Thank Great you. Job. Thank you all for having me. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.
Ask me about my Tempur-Pedic. Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. Tempur-Pedic owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics. You watch in Paradise, Louisiana. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. This is our love, this is our life, this is our home, Louisiana, this is our day, come what may, this is our home, this is our home, this is our life, this is our home. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Mr. Jason Bland, Jason, you know, there's a lot of times I wish I could go with you all the time. You got your own camel cruise now, you're doing it, you're doing it hard. You've taught me some things. I've tried to teach you a half Chris and everybody teach you what to do, but you've got some outstanding footage and it's almost like taking a family. You even have some outstanding footage with your phone. You taught me sometime in close quarters that the GoPros and what just don't work right. And That's so, right. You've got some outstanding footage in the, in the blind itself with those kids, and you set it up where they can see the, sh the shooting, the actual shooting, and the reactions in the blind and out in the field. Uh, awesome footage that we caught also in Texas, another part of Texas with Eaton Thornton. That's the one, great video, had a lot of likes and stuff on Facebook with it. You'll have to shoot him again, get her ready. Let him, let him go that way a little bit. Get up, he's hit back. Yep. One, I'm gonna touch the thing. One, two, three. You hit him a second time. You got him again. <laughs> you got him again. You got him. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, you got your big butt. He's down. He's gone. Oh my gosh, you're so. <laughs> you got him. He's laying down his feet. All right, brother. You got your trophy. You got your big trophy. You got your trophy. Look at daddy. Daddy's coming in here. Daddy. Oh, daddy, come Hello. see. Come see daddy. Oh, daddy. You got it, baby. You got it. We can make all the noise we want. And also, Miss Lakin Johnson, who also has uh, Down syndrome. You know, it's awesome to see because I know you have a relative, or your brother, brother that brother. actually has Down syndrome. Getting some of these people with disabilities in the outdoors. I mean, it's growing. It, it's a blessing not only to the people that we're taking, but you know, it does make you feel good to be able to provide these ad outdoor adventures for people who once thought that they couldn't do it. Good shot. Good job, Lee. You got it. You dropped her. You got it. You got it, Lee. Yeah, I got her. Good job. That is going to provide so much meat for your family, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. No, I think I'm excited. Yeah. I think you. I am so proud of you. Thank you. You thank Jesus for that, huh? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And thank Miss Darla and Mr. Maxim. Yes, ma'am. Yes.
Jason, outstanding, outstanding. We're just seeing excerpts right now. If somebody wants to watch this whole segment uh, that y'all did at home, where can they find it and where can they watch it? Well, we recently came out with one of our own YouTube channels, video, real things that we're doing, and also on our, a lot of social media, our Facebook page that you can see a lot of stuff going on, and also our website at www.trinitydisabledadventures.com. Well, you know, we can't do this without sponsors and without a lot of donations and a lot of fundraisers. So Jason is always involved. Jason, tell me right now, we got one of the biggest coming up, fundraisers, fun deal for people, payouts good. That's one right. of the biggest tournaments you took, took a place at Children Miracle Network uh, tournament and you got some of the same sponsors. Tell us about what's coming up on March 12th. Well, what we got coming up on March the 12th, Saturday, March the 12th, is the Trinity Outdoors Bass Classic. We're giving away a $10,000 guaranteed first place prize with a one thousand uh, dollar payout for big bass we're going to be fishing out of three locations you got dwaron's landings both sides bell river landing and then bayside at lake barrett you know we just it's a huge family day we have a hook kids on fishing sponsored by bluefin eyewear um, also we have a jambalaya pasta lie cooking competition which i know you'd love to be a judge for right i have been I yes have. you have you know, that's a huge cooking competition, and you got a bunch of River Parish teams that are starting to compete against each other now. And we're going to be having the weigh-in at 3 o'clock at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center at Arena 7 over there. All right. Getting everybody out the weather, and it's just a blessing. All the sponsors from Don's Wholesale to Motiva to Industrial Cooling Towers with Mr. Mike Morrow and them. And, I mean, it's just everybody can yes, see. Don't name them because there's too many to name. And, uh, yeah. Paradise, Louisiana will be there. And and I want to thank you again for the camera work and you sticking with me and driving all the way here from Lake Arthur where he lives now, not a young man. Yeah, we got to give a shout out to yeah. the Lake Arthur people now that I live over there. And, uh, oh, you won't know where Oh, you're I at? do. I just want them to know that and we're over there. Y'all want to bring the money y'all bring to me and I'll make sure you get well, it. Well, we just really want to reach out to the people who are disabled in that area too. Yeah. You know? Jason, thank you. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. Jason Bland. You can find him all over the internet. <laughs>
Hey, 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 go. But tell us a bit, tell me a little bit about these new acres you have here at the retreat. Oh, it's a separate piece of property. It's about 1,500 acres, but about 700 of it is flat, and it has some cypress breaks in it that are holding water. It's got a couple of lakes on it. So we're going to um, hopefully get that cleared out, some of the timber and things like that, make potholes in it. Use it hopefully for duck hunting. We're, we're a good ways from the river, so it may not hold any ducks. What about the dove? We got a couple of fields um, that we might, the food plots that we might plant for doves. We got one that's probably several acres that seems to be ideal for doing that. And this is ideally for rabbits too, right? For rabbits, um, ducks, dove, kind of a, more of a recreational. The deer, we have deer stands here and some food plots, but it's really going to be more for recreational, whereas the other property, uh, we don't go on the property very much during the hunting season other than to hunt. So that's what we're trying to do here. Look on the road! I feel very fortunate to grow up in a family that always loved to hunt and fish and go outdoors and a grandfather that used to take us and a father that took us and my dad was working a lot. I had a few uncles that loved taking us fishing and hunting. And, Love getting in the water and doing things that mama wouldn't let us do. So uh, the bond between the uncles and, and dads and all of our cousins is so strong. So uh, very blessed and feel very fortunate to be out here today. Thank you. Man, I know you're camera shy, but you know, you've been killing some ducks. You've been killing everything. All this wildlife, you got fishing available to you, hunting them now, Uncle Ed and them out here. We got, we got deer in the family, rabbit, squirrel. What is your favorite still? My favorite is duck hunting so far. Yes, sir. You had a pretty good year? We had a good year. Off and on, good. Good yeah. time. Yeah. Y'all killed some of the greenheads, huh? Yes, sir. Y'all hunted your best hunting was in Iowa? Yes, sir. Yeah. What about Mr. Satania? Y'all a guy that stayed there with y'all saying, he's starting to catch some fish? I don't know if he's been catching fish, to be honest, I hadn't heard from him. Yeah, yeah. Big Lake, I heard some rumors. You heard about the 10 pounder came? I did. West Coast. What happened? Big, big trap. So, go hunting. All Fish right. Water. All right. doesn't want to save money on fuel. Now, Shell and the Fuel Rewards Network are putting you in control of how much you pay for fuel. Simply buy whatever's on your shopping list. Clothes, groceries, even dinner out. And earn cents per gallon savings at participating retailers nationwide. Now, fuel prices are in your hands. So why wait? Sign up at FuelRewards.com today and turn shopping power into saving power. Visit Cracker Barrel convenience stores before heading fishing or hunting. We have more than you expect. It takes true grit to wake up every morning dedicated to a higher standard of work. At h and &E Equipment Services, we're leveraging our national fleet of equipment with a local approach, working closely with customers to understand their needs and provide them reliability, fair prices, and the support of a first-class service team. We're an equipment company run by equipment people. Where others stop, we continue. H&E Equipment Services, the higher standard in equipment rentals, sales, parts, and service. It's Truck Month at Courtesy Ford, and with our new expanded lot, it's our biggest truck month ever. Right now, get $12,000 off every 2016 Ford Super Duty diesel in stock. The 2016 Super Duty delivers best in-class power and fuel economy, and you can get $12,000 off MSRP on over 100 in stock. Browse the largest selection of Ford trucks in the state at Acadiana's number one selling F-Series dealer for three years straight. Courtesy Ford off I-10 behind Walmart and Bro Bridge. Welcome to the Berkeley Abu Sophia 
fishing report, and we've got somebody special with us today. We got we got a man sitting in on a, on the fishing report because I know you got a lot of them, and you get people all over talking about the bait. But I got Miss Judy Pressenbach. Now, Miss Pressenbach, all these pictures that your husband Glenn sends to me, you know, you in there holding the biggest sackalay. Is that your favorite fishing? Sackalay, or you fish brim, bass, cock, what do you fish? What's you pretty favorite? much fish anything. I mean, fish it all. Whatever I catch, I catch. I enjoy it. Well, he got me straight. I thought he was fishing a road running. We was talking about slow rolling in the middle of a canal. But it's just a beetle spin type bait. He makes his own jig heads. You can get them over there at the store. He ships them around. Uh, Y'all, y'all, I call it a bait shop, but y'all, y'all riding real repair? Right. Glenn's riding real repair. Tell right. me exactly where it's at right here in Homer. It's on Coto Road. When you turn on Coto Road on Highway 660, I'm right off, not far from the intersection. You can get anything you got to do with Sacolay, any kind of fishing. He makes a special rod for Sacolay fish, I understand. He makes his own rods. Uh, he's not selling any right now, but when he retires, he's hoping to. Uh, build some to sell. Well, I know he keeps you busy, but he told me the best thing he loves is when you get in the boat with him. So y'all bring a lot of good to eat, because I'm coming. He invited me. Yeah. What you bring to eat? Uh, Debbie cakes, pies. It just depends on what I have. Uh, I'm not better. Y'all got to do I used to eat up too many Debbie cakes. I can bring you whatever you need to eat on. OK. Well, I know Janelle promising to make me and dine some boulettes out of Sacolay and with crawfish etouffee on top. That's sort of tempting, ain't it? I think the yeah. devil made that recipe. <laughs> but here we are. These are their baits, and you see what we're holding up. Here's a beetle swim type bait, not a road runner. They got different sizes. They got the 124, and they got a 132, the little smaller one. We got a, one, a number one hook, and the other one's a little bit bigger. Got a number two hook. And I believe that's what y'all using. Y'all putting that trailer on it, a triple ripple, mm -hmm. or you're fishing a jig like this, hold it up. There you go. And lately, that's been your color. That's the color I've been Now, Glenn told using. me he was fishing short truce in black with the, with the short truce crappy psychic on the back. It just depends. He uses one kind, sometimes I use another kind, but it's most of the time the black and short truce. Now, the big secret is where y'all fish in the bar black area in the middle of the canal, pinching. And uh, I know they got some people that got dead in canals. You got to be careful. I know it's controversial right now. But y'all, y'all coming and y'all been fishing copper saw and then living those areas. Wherever the grass, you're in the middle of the canal. Pretty much the middle of the canal lately. Slow rolling. Slow. Slow rolling. That's yeah, the ones on the spinner with just free lining. Yeah. When you're fishing under cork, you're fishing a jig. How, how deep you fishing? I Hold that bait up right there. I don't that. really know how deep Glenn puts it. Glenn's the one that sets it. What you put? I just, I just fish whatever he puts. <laughs> I just fish That's whatever it. he puts on the line. Ready to tell the truth. All right, we're going to go back right now to freshwater fishing and check. We already saw what you were doing. With it. What's some other areas people catching sackalay down in this area? Well, like you mentioned earlier, the Buy Black area is really uh, turned on right now. Um, Orange Grove area. Um, Pipeline Canal off of, uh, you know, School Board Canal. They're, they're doing really well. Uh, they are deep, though, right now, which is kind of surprising. I think the spawn is a little later this year than it normally is. Probably, uh, I don't know what that's due to. Um, most of the fish I'm catching right now don't have completely mature eggs in them, but they do have eggs in them. You've uh, already showed us on the base, and I'm going to show you one more time. He, got, he, he designed this to fish soft water, but the bass fishermen have bought him out and he's gonna be coming out with more different colors he's gonna have. Right now, he's got this one's called? Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. And we're gonna have uh, bubble gum. Bubble gum. Uh, pumpkin seed, watermelon. Watermelon red, that's what I told you <laughs> one I want, and, and this one. And I June like bug. Color and June bug. Yep. And uh, pumpkin seed, that's it. So, well look, and I'm gonna tell you my report right now. Toledo Bend is another hot in the Sacolay. I talked to some friends of mine that are over there. Uh, Bert Tanya was, was over there bass fishing this past weekend. Uh, first two days were a little slow, but they're still catching bass, and they weren't catching none of them big ones. But at the landing, they had a bunch of seven and eights and one nine come in at Toledo Bend. Crappie, his buddies were fishing crappie. He was also carrying a rod. He was fishing off the bank. They haven't moved all the way to the bank, but the ones he caught, he said, were big, and he was slow rolling the road runner. 
He was slow rolling a road runner uh, in chartreuse and black uh, and, and, uh, and shed colors. So they were catching. Most of the people I'm talking about right now are catching sacolate is two colors. Chartreuse and black, the water's clear. If it's dingy, they fish in blue and white. That's the old mainstay, so right? especially down right. here in, in the marsh. So if you fishing anywhere, it's, I don't know when the Chapel House Spillway is going to be good. Uh, the bass in the Chapel House Spillway, none existing. I'm getting any reports, but we got so many tournaments coming up. You know, we got the bass passage coming up in March. We got two bass passage. We got the Children's Milk, I mean, the Children's Hospital bass passage, and we got the Trinity Outdoors bass passage. They, they, one week apart, one to fifth, one to twelfth. So, all the people scouting right now for these tournaments, uh, they are, they are wearing out the. The area you can't fish south of 90, so they, all these people are fishing there up in the Verrett area and the uh, Crackerhead area and all these areas, and they catching fish. But a lot of competition. The big fish they looking these tournament guys they looking for one or two, three bites, big fish. And the fish are spawning already, you know, in, in the area. The full moon just passed, so fish in fresh water. And there it is. Man, guess what? Saltwater. You got any reports? Saltwater? Anybody telling your friends? No, I'm really not a saltwater fisherman. Uh, Tony was here. I mean, you know, he's a big saltwater fisherman. I do have a lot of captains out there that are really, really doing well on the uh, speckled trout, uh, cocodri area, do large area. I don't know the exact uh, spots they're fishing, but I know those areas are what doing pretty you, well Judy? right now. Nothing but fresh water? Fresh water. That's all we've been doing. Right now. Well, okay. Well, right now, uh, James Trish come through here a while ago. He's a good friend, Tim McCosta. He fishes all the time, Thursday the 18th. He's fishing Madison Bay area for specks. Green sparkle beetle, and the redfish, and in the marshes, the cocodrie, limited out. Lots of small redfish, but the big fish are, are starting to move in. Now, let me tell you what, I got other people telling me to catch the fish, especially down in Big Lake. I sit there and talk to Jeff Poe, the other day, and some of them other captains, I talked to the, I called himself the mayor of Big Lake, uh, Mr. David Reed and his wife. So we were sitting there talking, and he was telling me about everywhere I went this weekend after that rabbit hunt, they were telling me about all the redfish in Big Lake right now, in West Coast, on the east side of Big Lake. Bull reds, any size you want, sometimes it's ridiculous. They don't want to fall out of the boat. So they're fishing anything you want. If you're fishing shrimp under a cork, or you're fishing grubs, you're fishing uh, gulp, anything you're fishing right now in the east side. Down in Delacroix, they're still catching fish. They're starting to catch a few more bass again in Delacroix. I don't know what happened. They had a lot of east wind, the southeast wind this week. It really knocked off fishing in my brother's pier. I'm gonna show you a couple of scenes where we couldn't even talk. He liked to move Bobby back off the thing. Bobby Black is also catching uh, those Sacolay, a white perch like they say up north, then Eagle Lake, and then his lake right there at Emerson Plantation. Also, uh, Kobe Daniels sent me a report from up there. They're catching some big Sacolay in, in those lakes and, uh, and all the lakes around them over there in, uh, in North Louisiana and Murray. Rouge. So um, before I run out and we talk about some fish, I had time to sit down and, and talk with Jeff Polk. Jeff Poe just got in from fishing, digging in with all that wind. I'll let him give you a fish report and what baits they biting on. So we're going to go out. Here's Jeff Poe. I'm Jeff Poe with Big Lake Guide Service. We've been catching the fish over here at Big Lake. It's, uh, you know, it's mid-February now. We've got redfish all along the east bank. You can just pick a spot pretty much anywhere you want to go on the east bank. Hit several schools of redfish on the west bank also today, so they're pretty much everywhere. Got birds picking over the redfish, and also our trophy trout are starting to show up. We're catching, you know, some nice four to six pound fish, and then we've also got some school trout, and I'm hearing about a few, you know, six pound plus fish. Uh, you know, I haven't been fortunate enough to catch any of those yet, but, you know, I'm working on it. We had not been fishing too, too much. Good to see the shrimp jumping. Lots of young pogies and just looks like it's gonna be a lot of fish. And we caught fish today from one end of the lake to the other. All the way from Turner's Bay, went all the way to the south end of West Coast, wash out, nine mile cut, you know, everywhere's got fish. Best baits, 
they only making one right now, and it's a you know it's something by Mirror Lure that's soft. You know, either a Little John, but the best two is probably the Fat Boys and the uh, Soft Dean XLs. You know, that's the two that we've been using mostly. And best color is just anything with just a little bit of chartreuse in it. You know, it could be chartreuse back, chartreuse sides, pearl sides. Uh, just as long as it does have some chartreuse in it. And then also the little Johns on eight and 16th ounce lead heads. All right, just remember that this is the time for the big ones. You know, we got big ones down here at Big Lake. You can also go to Toledo Bend if you want to catch one of those freshwater big ones. But the salt water, we got them right now.